Have you ever recorded something that you wish you could take back, something that lives on tape or CD or something that just does not meet your standards? Well, I certainly have, and I'm going to share something with you today uh, from my slide playing that I wish I could take back, but we're going to talk about it, we're going to expose it, so hopefully you don't make the same mistake that I did. Hey there, John here with the Blues Guitar Institute, and this is your Tuesday Blues, where we take cool acoustic blues concepts and break them down and get them into your playing as fast as possible. And we've been talking a whole lot about slide technique and things that you really need to have in your playing to develop some solid slide skills. Say that three times fast. And today, I, I want to share with you where I've gone back and I've heard a, an electric guitar part that I laid down a song of mine called These City Streets years ago, probably 2000. 2004, 2005, 2006, somewhere in there. And now when I go back and listen to it, I'm, I'm just shrieking because the notes are really drifting. And that's the biggest mistake that I want you to get. I'm going to play this for you and I want you to listen to the part. But you're going to hear that my notes just drift. Sometimes I'm a little flat, sometimes I'm a little sharp, but I'm never nailing the note fundamental. Let's give it a listen, then we'll come back and we're going to pick this thing apart. It's going to be pretty painful for me, but here we go. So the ending was okay. There were definitely some notes in there that, that hung on, but let's listen again and really focus in on some of the some of this swirling sound. This isn't vibrato. This isn't the intentional moving and embellishing a note. This is where I'm just slipping past the note or never quite getting there. Let's listen again. Maybe it's subtle, but that's kind of the point with slide guitar is that you have this infinite range because you can play up and down the string without the confines of a fret that that minute sound, something's dragging in this part, something is just not quite getting there. And again, I hear a little bit of sharp, a little bit of flat, a little bit of just not being solid. And that's the biggest mistake really that, that I've ever made that's definitely been recorded. I'm sure I've made tons more that, that didn't uh, you know get, get recorded to come back to haunt me like this one did, but I wish I could go back dive into the master and lay down something better. For a little bit of context, I want to play you what the fundamental notes would sound like here. And we'll do it on the acoustic guitar. I'm not going to play it with a slide, but we're just listening for the notes. What, what notes should be ringing here? And it should sound like this, this lick. There are definitely some ways to get after this and really make sure that you're not making the same mistake in your playing. We've talked about it before. We talked about it in the three mistakes to avoid in slide guitar playing. And, um, you know, it was definitely one of the big mistakes. What you want to do is spend some time and make sure that you can travel from fret to fret with slide on your finger and actually get a note in tune. I like to play slide guitar when I'm really working on this with one of these tuners set up on my guitar and if you've got a chromatic one no matter what note you're playing you can see it show up and so i'll target what i know to be a g note here just picking some random note here and i'll then play it fretted and i'll play it with a slide and i better get the same exact pitch that's really working on the intonation and that's the biggest tip that i have for you to really work on that and make sure that when you're playing some slide stuff whether it's on electric or acoustic that you're not drifting all over the place and that you're not sounding just a little bit flat or just a little bit sharp. They're both horrible. They'll both have you sounding like that recording that I wish I could take back. But this is a great exercise and a great way to get that stuff out of your playing. It takes time, it takes hard work, but it is definitely worth it. All right, I hope this was helpful taking a look at my misgivings and hopefully it will become your good fortune. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you want to take things further, then check out the new course from BGI, Slide Guitar Essentials. We go deep into techniques like this and exercises that will really help you develop good slide guitar playing. All right, that's it for today. I'll be back next Tuesday with some cool acoustic blues lessons, but until then, be sure to practice smart and play on.